Hi everyone, I'm Miguel, creative producer at Focus Home Interactive, here to introduce even more upcoming content for Curse of the Dead Gods. It's been around one month since we launched in early access, and it's been great to see how the community has responded to the updates. The team at Past Deck Games is working hard to bring constant improvements and enhancements. This time we're showing off the major Cursed Temple update, which contains a lot of new features and even more replayability. Thought you knew the temple well? Don't be so sure, as there are now even more room variations in the Jaguar section. Traps, treasure chests, and secret rooms all have more diversity, making the temple much less predictable. We've also introduced new skins for weapons to give them more distinctive looks, as well as unique weapons dropped from the Blood Hunter and the Moon Twin Champions. Of course, based on your feedback, we're also constantly improving the gameplay balance for all aspects to achieve a challenging but fair experience for everyone. These offer a new way to play, combining cool gameplay modifiers for thematic runs, often much more unpredictable and difficult than standard mode. For example, you might start with a permanent haste buff which increases your move speed, but the corpses of all enemies are passively infested with spawning monsters. In another Eternal Curse mode, you may take less damage while staying in the dark, but more damage in the light. There's a lot of potential and ideas to explore with this feature, and we can't wait to see how you overcome some of the creative and deadly challenges we have lined up for each level of difficulty in Curse of the Dead Gods. Spicing things up even further, we've doubled the number of curses in the game with this update to bring more surprises to each of your runs. We worked to bring new ways to play for your greed and other cool twists on existing game mechanics. Get the Trapped Treasure Curse and be attacked with a powerful blow each time you open a chest. However, if you're able to parry this trap, you might get bonus rewards. With another new curse, watch your surroundings carefully as all flame-spewing statues will be triggered automatically when you enter their site. Remember, each curse acts like a double-edged sword in Curse of the Dead Gods, allowing you to use their effects to your advantage with careful play. As always, this update features a bunch of balance changes and fixes based on the feedback of our amazing community. This includes new cursed weapons and relics. Looking ahead to the upcoming months, we're excited to announce huge plans for the next major update, which will take place in a dark and poisonous part of the temple, challenging you to face new monsters, traps, bosses, and worse, along with new loot, curses, and fun ways to play. Thank you for your feedback and amazing support. Follow our social media accounts and Steam Early Access page for more information soon. Curse of the Dead Gods is available on Early Access on PC. See you next time.